The Kremlin on Monday said that it welcomed a Vatican offer to provide a negotiating platform to resolve the Ukraine conflict, but that Kiev's position made it impossible. Pope Francis retaliated 10 days ago that the Vatican was ready to do anything possible to mediate and put an end to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Since Russia invaded Ukraine over nine months ago, several countries, including Turkey, Israel and China, have been touting as potential mediators in the conflict. Russian universities sent students home and police fanned out in Beijing and Shanghai to prevent more protests on Tuesday after crowds angered by severe antivirus restrictions called for leader Xi Jinping to resign in the biggest show of public dissent in decades. Authorities have eased some controls after demonstrations in at least eight mainland cities and Hong Kong but showed no sign of backing off their largest zero covid strategy that has confined millions of people to their homes for months at a time british prime minister rishi sunak has said that china poses a systematic challenge to uk value and interest as his government condemns beijing after a bbc journalist said that he was beaten covering shanghai protests in his first major speech on foreign policy, Sunak said that the so-called golden era of UK-China relations trumped by former Prime Minister David Cameron was over along with the naive idea that trade would automatically lead to social and political reform. The thawing of ancient parafrost due to the climate change may pose a new threat to the humans, according to researchers who revived nearly two dozen viruses, including one frozen under a lake more than 48,500 years ago. European researchers examined ancient samples collected from permafrost in the Siberian region of Russia. They revived and characterized 13 new pathogens, what they termed zombie viruses, and found that they remain infectious despite spending many millennia trapped in the frozen ground. <laughs>